Welcome to the Working Man Committee Podcast. I am your host, Brandon T. And this is a place where the working man comes to get his information. When I say working man, I'm not politically correct when I say this. I talk about men, women, whoever out here getting it. And we give you the news that you need to know. And so let's start off. Working man. CDC is doing a recall of drops. Yeah. There's been reports that... Um, the the uh, obtain a particular bacteria that can cause blindness. Yes, and so what they found that found see that the, the, the official tears. So, like I said, working man using certain um eye drops and artificial tears and so forth. Uh, you should definitely research what you're what you're using, you're using something, and like I said. Uh, stop using them because they're saying that the bacteria are, tri- uh, are triggering debilitating infections that can cause permanent blindness and even surgical eye- surgical removal of the eyeball completely. And this and this is also this has happened to a woman in Florida already. Yes. So the CDC is warning to, to that that um, that these eye drops contain a certain a uh, bit of bacteria, and they go back as far as January of this year. And so they said there's been 70 patients in six different states that have suffered from drug resistant bacteria with multiple symptoms. So, working man, I want I want y'all. I, I want y'all to like I said, if you're using any artificial tears. Or any or any of these eye drops. I want you to go on there, do a research, and see if what you're using is part of this recall, and so forth. Cause like I said, uh, our eyes are important. Yep. So like I said, they um like I said so like I said, look at the CDC, and like I said, Google what the CDC is and so forth, and and where, and so you can determine whether if you did brand of uh, Tier, tier is something that you need need to be uh, aware of and and so forth. All right, so uh, let's see what else we got on this artificial tears. Global former healthcare is the manufacturer of of of, of these. Uh, these uh, looks like the manufacturer of these tears. But like I said, I want y'all to go do your own research here. And determine, like I said, if you're using any any artificial tears or anything, um, then then so you know what to do. I do believe the CDC has a Twitter account, and it looks like a CDC gov Twitter account, and, and that more information up there whether 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 we're gonna send what you can determine if you're using any of these eye products or, or so forth. Um, what you know, saying what you need to stop using. Using it also lets you know the symptoms of the infections. If if you if the if you do actually have those and the bells and the is uh messing with you. So like I said, working man, I I need y'all definitely to pay attention to this one because like I said, your eyes are important and so forth. Like I said. So I wanted to lead off of that story with this weekend roundup that, like I said, that probably more than any story do we talk to, talk about here on the Working Man Committee. You know what I'm saying? Something that directly affects the people is something we wanted to, like I said, bring to you directly. And so with that said, um, like I said, go do your research, determine what's in your, in your cabinets and so forth as far as any, like I said, any of these eye drops and so forth and take appropriate actions. All right, work man. So we're going to go to our next story. So y'all, if y'all been paying attention, the Fed's been raising rates to try to slow inflation. They want inflation under 2%. And so they've been doing all their measures and increase, increase Fed rate. That means the, the, and that's the interest rate that banks loan each other money. When we talk about the, the fund, the Fed's funds rate. So this is not necessarily the interest rate that you will get from your, from your 
forth as a, as an individual, but this is the interest rates that banks do business with each other. And why that's important is, like I said, there is guidelines and so forth that how much banks banks have um, cash cash on hand at the uh, close of business in a particular day. And so with the, with banks moving money around, people pulling money out, putting money in, and so forth, that some banks will fall under that number, and then they would need to borrow money uh, for that night for close of business to start the next day with that particular money, and that particular rate is is what the feds are changing, and so forth. And so with that rate going up, then that in turn causes the banks. That bring the bank's costs up, then in turn, that cost will be passed on to you, and and a higher interest rate as far as lending and so forth, and maybe higher interest rate as far as savings to, to keep you know what I'm saying to to keep to have you keep more money in the bank, and so now now with that being said, we're gonna we, um, so like I said the the, the, uh, the chairman. The Fed has been raising rates, and now it's starting. Now, like I said, now it's starting to have the really rich people kind of. Um, let's say, saying "ouch" a little bit. Yeah, so there's some billionaire investors who are not liking the uh, whether what the Feds are as far as these rates are concerned. And one of these billionaire investors, we're gonna call him Barry. So that's so Barry says that the uh, Fed's hikes are like a steamroller, using a steamroller to kill a small fly, and warns that the economics is about to hit the wall. The economy is about to hit the wall. Yeah. See. See, you gotta realize, United States of America. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure at this point, the whole world. It's all built off borrowed money. There's there, there's no you save up, you use, you retain earnings, and you, know, you run your business, you know what I'm saying, uh, debt-free. There's none of that anymore. It's all borrowed money and leverage. Like, what, what is leverage? You know what I'm saying? If you, if you like I said, working man, I know y'all, if you scroll, you take this out here. Take your phone and scroll through whatever social media platforms and so forth. I mean, especially back in the 2020 and so forth, where all the new financial gurus, you know, what I'm saying, popped out of nowhere. You know, what I'm saying, and they were telling you, ah, uh, uh, you don't pay taxes on debt. You know, what I'm saying, borrow money, no taxes, and so forth. You know, all that right there. You know, what I'm saying, all those guys. So if you if you take that point and 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 scale it way up to like the billionaires and so forth. And like I said, if it's all if you're using borrowed money, and then like I said, the interest rates have been very low for a long time, a long time since the uh, probably since um, I want to say the housing crisis after the housing crisis. So that was back during the Bush years and so forth. Uh, that interest rates have been low, and like I said, borrowed money is. And now with the Fed raising rates, borrowed that whole idea for those last 10, 12 years, and now now you're making borrowed money be more expensive. Now the people that got rich off borrowed, cheap borrowed money is now starting to go, ouch. Oof, it hurts. Stop it. And, and so, so what we have in here is like with Barry. Barry... Barry's the first one, not, not even first one. He's the he's the latest one to say, "Ouch, oof, that hurts." You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, before borrowed money was cheap. You know what I'm saying? You know, pay less taxes on on borrowed money. You know, you know, you got the Elizabeth Warrens and all those out there talking. So the rich don't pay their fair share. Okay, if they're living on borrowed money, and that money is um, there's a cost of the money. That's a write off. Of of what you can get from them, and so now what you're having is, you know, what I'm saying you're having, you know, what I'm saying that they said borrow money, 
And I said, me more expensive now. These rich guys can't do what they normally would do. Or, no, it ain't even that they normally can't do what they do. It's that they're not making what they normally would make off the borrowed money. Yeah. Because of the interest rate. Cutting into, cutting into the bottom line and so forth. And it's like I said, real talk. Bar, I mean, building something, saving the money, building something, having the money and so forth. Is let's just say that's the hard way to do things, but going going to the um, the banks or whoever got money and borrowing it from them, it's the easy way. You know, you, what skin in the game did you put? Just whatever you took their money to build is is where you at. So you're kind of like you just you just getting you know what I'm saying. Let's say that you getting the vig off of it, and so and so now that. With with the way the feds are going about, you know what I'm saying, trying to cut inflation and so forth, then the then the vig that they that these guys are normally getting has been cut. And so now, like I said, now they they screaming, they they you know what I'm saying, they 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 saying ouch, and they're gonna complain. So like I said, there's gonna be way more of these people. These rich guys that was able to borrow that that was able to borrow a lot of money gonna be crying more and more over the over the coming months and the rest of the year here. You're gonna see a lot. Like I said, t- turn on turn on some of these financial shows and in the next in the next little bit you'll see even more and more. Like I said, 'cause it's like I said, borrowed money. And then like I said, all these um twenty twenty financial gurus that ain't never had up money in their life you know what I'm saying? Was able to go, you know what I'm saying? Look and go viral a little bit because they, because they, you know what I'm saying? They was able to repeat some stuff they thought they heard from somewhere over here. So they thought how something work over here that maybe over here there's some credit card hack they saw over there that maybe over here and so forth. You know what I'm saying? All that, like I said, is going. You know what I'm saying? It's going to probably um collapse even more. So, yes, it's, with that said. I want y'all working man, I want y'all I want y'all to definitely, definitely, definitely. When I say definitely, I want you definitely to pay attention to what's happening and so forth. All right, and our next story, the final story of the day here. Walmart is planning on closing stores in twenty twenty three. Yes. So that's where we at now. We had, we had, we had some hard economic times. Where the largest retailer and the largest employer sack it to the government, and then I guess here, I guess it goes back and forth on Amazon of how many people they have on the books is closing stores. Yeah, so Walmart will be closing 15 stores in 11 states, including Washington D.C. The company also is winding down many of its pickup locations in Illinois and. In Arkansas, hundreds of workers will be laid off at five economic fulfillment centers in the United States. So, like I said, Walmart, everything is contracting, or the, the or or the foresight of things are contracting here. And so, here here I'm gonna give you a uh, list of the states, and maybe if you live in any of these states, that you know, what I'm saying that your local Walmart might be closing. Arkansas, D.C. Arkansas is closing one. D.C. is closing one. Georgia is closing two in the Atlanta area. Let's see. Florida's closing one, and that's one of those neighborhood concept, like it's like almost like a grocery store type thing. It's very small Walmart. Hawaii, Honolulu is closing one. Illinois is going to be that state's closing three, and it looks like those are all outside of Chicago. And, I, and if I remember correctly, I don't think there is a Walmart in the city of Chicago because of. Of of the fight back there, and they're doing homesteads, um, playing field and and Lincolnwood, and Lincolnwood was a uh, looked like a pickup only concept, so it wasn't one you would actually go in the shop. Indiana, uh, South Bend, Minnesota, Brooklyn Center, New Mexico, out and there'd be one in Albuquerque, and so Oregon, uh, Portland, two in Portland's gonna close. Texas, it looks like. Uh, Kitty, and that was a uh, neighborhood concept, and then one in Washington D.C. and one in Wisconsin and Milwaukee. So, like I said, 
those Walmarts will be closed over this year here. And it looks like the uh see Walmart, what's what's the handing that you're doing this quote? Citing poor financial performance from these stores. So these stores, these fifteen stores aren't performing as they normally would perform. And so I don't know if that's cause of there's high theft in some of these areas. Like I said, besides, I mean, besides the pickup ones, you would think that maybe there's high theft going on. And so on, because like I said, that is a a problem. I know people like, ah, oh, this, this, you know what I'm saying, they're stealing whatever. But like I said, that is a cascade. You can steal out of your little store and then don't have a store in your area. And then the next thing, what do you do? Yep, so like I said, that's what's happening with Walmart. And like I said, and then, then, then like I said, then all the people that's in these stores get laid off. It's, it's like I said, it's, it's just an economic sad thing here and with that said you know saying this has been the working man committee weekend edition i'm your host brandon t like and subscribe drop it down in the comments if you if you feel strongly about anything we talked about here and like i said we had, you know saying we had talked about it over here and also also check out the working man committee facebook page where we do we do in turn put some stories that don't make it here on the youtube page we put them over there and with that said We'll see you next time. Peace.